How to simplify this expression under the square root? We have one hundred times one hundred one times one hundred two times one hundred three plus one without using calculator. So first, uh, first, uh, let me use the substitution. Hundred equal x. All right. So the original expression becomes x times x plus one times x plus two. And x plus three, and then plus one. Now, if we can just observe this, this term and that term, I want to first. I want to multiply the first term and last term. Right, the first term, last term. Because by doing so, that'll give me x squared first, and then give me three x. Right, so that's a Whole identity. Then we're going to do the these two terms, right? These two terms. So that'll give me just x squared first, right? Then x times two, then one times x. So that's three x. And finally, one times two give me two. Right? And finally, plus one. So that way, I can just observe it again. So x squared plus three x, the same thing here. X squared plus three x. So as a whole entity, I can make substitution. X squared plus three x equal to y as a whole entity. Then the original expression becomes under the square root. I have y times y plus two. Right, y plus two. Then plus one, right? So that essentially y squared plus two y, then plus one, and of course that's a perfect square where y plus one, y plus one, quantity square, and then square. Of course here I require here x is equal to hundred, so therefore I don't need absolute value, right? I just need y plus one. Knowing it's already positive, right? So this is already positive. And so finally, y plus one. That's x squared plus three x plus one, and substitute x equal hundred back. Right. So that's essentially hundred squared plus three times one hundred. That's three hundred. Then plus one. So that's. One o three o one.